How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of the Calamity Let's Play. Thank you, as always, for all of your lovely support throughout this series, my friends. I very much do appreciate it. Apologies again for the lower-than-usual upload frequency here on the channel, but hey, hopefully we're going to be getting back to some nice regular uploads here very, very shortly, folks, because, uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling nice and refreshed. I've had a couple of months where things have been a bit rough, but you know what? A new month is here, September, and as a result, we're heading towards the end of the year with Christmas and my favourite season to come, winter. So, uh, yeah, my friends, let's see if we can get back to having some fun here on the channel. Huh? So, of course, if you guys are still excited for the series and want to continue seeing more, do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I very much appreciate it. Of course, if you're new around here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my future episodes. And, of course, if you really want to go on further, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to support me when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PC. So then, what do you think, my friends? Time to go ahead and get ourselves caught up on the old checklist here. We need to go ahead and do the Torch God mini event and also head on over to the Sunken Sea Biome so we can try and take on and hopefully defeat the Giant Clam all before going ahead and trying to take on the Eye Cthulhu a little bit later. So, let's go ahead and start off with the Torch God, which hopefully is going to be something that's nice and easy to get done. So according to the boss check list in order to activate the torch god we need to place 101 torches while underground the event starts once the last torch is placed so i think what i'll do is i'll probably go ahead and simply put them like all in like several rows and then we have maybe i don't know like just a platform or something like way above it right i mean that should do the job i would hope <laughs> So, yeah, guys, we just got ourselves something rather amazing. The giant shell coming in at an insane 10 defense within itself. 15% reduced movement speed. Taking a hit will make you move very fast for a short time. Uh-huh. I mean, purely for the defense, I think this is a good accessory, my friends. Uh, what else have we got here? The Craw Carapace. Enemies take damage when they touch you. Oh, maybe take another horseshoe will mean that we can put this thing on and bring ourselves up to 42 defense. I mean, reduce movement speed. I mean, yeah, that is going to be a little bit annoying, perhaps. But uh, I don't know, man. I feel like we should be all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my very, very basic Torch God arena. We very, very simply have ourselves a platform up here that will allow us to hopefully dodge the various light projectiles. And this is going to be the area where all of the lights actually go. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to go ahead and get this thing underway. Now, here's the thing. I'm well aware of the fact that there's torches sort of all over the place around here and what i don't know is how much of a radius the torch god event actually has so i don't know just how far away i need to be going ahead and getting rid of torches from so i don't have projectiles coming from weird directions right well i mean there's not a great deal of torches anywhere so uh let's just sort of do this thing uh, as far as I know, we'll wind up getting a blindness effect added to us once this thing sort of starts off. Uh, right, there we are. Okay, it started. Uh, right. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, right, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. There we are. Right, now I can see. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It seems there, you son of a gun. Oh, wait. Okay, no, there's still projectiles all over the place. Um, Sure. Okay, if I could like, ah, I'm cornered. If I could like stop. Right, I tell you what happened there. The regular mobs got me there. They kept on distracting me. So what does that mean for the event? Cause I don't know. Like, can you just sort of start it again? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know the ins and outs of the freaking torch god event. I just don't. Uh, oh, jeez, I accidentally uh, consumed a potion when I had no need to. Right, so then, turns out that there's a whole bunch of these here projectiles that uh, are being summoned from these torches up here. So, uh, it turns out we may need to go ahead and rid even more torches. Oh, it started again by itself! Uh-oh! Okay, uh, well, this is certainly interesting. All right, time for Python concentration mode. I'm not even going to look at the face cam. I am paying sole attention to this event here. 
Come on, Python Addict. You can do this. You can do this. It's friggin' easy, for goodness sake. Although, this is death mode at the end of the day, so, uh... Yeah. You know, things could go bad and wrong very quickly, you know? Yeah, all right. Well, this is certainly a way better attempt than last time. I'll give myself that. <laughs> it would be nice, of course, if I... Oh, cheap wits. What the... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. No, 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 no! Death Mode Torch God has all manner of different debuffs to it. Holy God. Right. Um, that I didn't know. <laughs> that I did not know. I genuinely didn't know that uh, I would be getting different debuffs from that. And it definitely seemed to be the case that the later down the event you go, the worse the debuff is? Question mark? Certainly seems to be the case, but uh, I couldn't tell you for sure. Uh, yeah, sure, that was interesting. Maybe we just go ahead and widen the platform here, and then we should be all right, I would say. So, yeah. Also, I, I still wouldn't mind a brightness potion, so, uh, yeah. If we got one of those laying around, that'd be beautiful. Ah, only the one shine potion, though. All right, I think I can still make it work, so let's go ahead and get ourselves back down there and start kicking some torch god booty. Except we won't be, because all we're going to be doing is avoiding it. So, um, yeah. Sure. It started again, man! Oh, God, you don't get a little bit of respite in between attacks. Oh, for God's sake, and there's bloody mobs here again! Uh, a bone sword? That's certainly interesting. I'm dead again, aren't I? You don't get any respite between attempts, guys. You don't get any respite between attempts! What is that, man? I want to widen the platform, you son of a turd! Shine potion activated! Do what you will, torches. Hey! Will you stop it, man? Why does there have to be regular mobs around here? Ah, this game is getting on my nerves. Come on, Python. Don't get cornered again. There we are. Oh, this is taking some mad concentration. I'm not commentating. I can't even do it without commentating. What the hell? Since when was the Torch God that fudging difficult? Holy crap. Yeah. Okay, so when going ahead and searching for some stuff that might assist me in my attempts of trying to take on the Torch God, I've noticed a few unloaded items. Now, there has been a Calamity update fairly recently, and apparently it's gone ahead and removed the various game mode items. Uh, death mode. Oh, click to select a difficulty mode. Uh, classic Terraria experience, Revengeance, Death. And Malice has been removed by the mod, but its AI changes will live on in Boss Rush. Ah, okay. So yeah, Death Mode is in fact the highest one that comes with the mod itself. But I am well aware that apparently there is like an add-on mod, which adds on Infernum Mode. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it's called. But yeah, Death Mode is the top tier difficulty once again. So yeah, let's go ahead and prove that by failing to do the Torch God again. I never thought I'd have so many issues trying to take on the Torch God for crying out loud. Like, honestly, this is ridiculous. You, you don't get any time, man. You don't get any time. You don't get any time to, like, mentally prepare, for God's sake. Jesus Christ. Okay. So far, so good. It's the freaking blackout darkness that's really sort of hindering me here. But, uh, so far, so good. If we get caught in a bit of a sort of... Ah! Ah! No, 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 no. Calm down, calm down. All right, no panic mode, Python. No panicking. No panicking. Come on, Python. Come on, come on. You got this. You got this. You're probably about halfway through the entire event now. Yeah, baby. Come on. Come on. I will have this done. Come on, Python. Come on, Python. No! I hate this. 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 I would literally pay my soul to have the ability to freaking dash. That would be fantastic. Oh, hey, look, a goblin. Huh, what are you doing here, buddy? Spider pylon? Yeah, you still got some decent stuff. Sadly, I can't buy any of it. I haven't got enough. All right, well, uh, yeah, the goblin is probably going to die. But 
No matter. <laughs> it is what it is. What's really staggering me, though, is the fact that we've got 42 defense pre-hard mode. All right. And even pre-Eye of Cthulhu. All right. Like, seriously, for us to have 42 defense pre-Eye of Cthulhu... That's that's a hell of an achievement. It really is, my friends. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right, come on. Oh, okay, come on. There seems to be little gaps in between the projectiles sort of sometimes. Ah! No! No, 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 no. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Your life drains so fast. <laughs> it's so fast how fast it drains. Holy God. Okay. I'm still pretty convinced... Still pretty convinced that you go ahead and uh, have more damage done to you as time goes on here. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, taking a couple hits it. Get yourself back up there, Python. Come on. All right, there we are. There we are. There we are. There we are. Okay, come on. I'm stuck in a corner now. No, 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 this is the torch gun! It's not that hard! This is unbelievable! The debuffs you get from the torch gun last an inordinate amount of time! Holy Jesus! I mean, this is pre of Cthulhu, dude! At least make it only last like two seconds or something! This is ridiculous! If this is supposed to be some sort of prep thing for how the rest of the mod is gonna go it's fucking ridiculous it really is come on python you can do better than this man oh what a bloody surprise once again there's a bunch of regular mobs about and i can't do crap all about it man jesus oh this is Oh, this is infuriating. I can't do bullet hell like this. Maybe I need to arrange the torches in a different fashion. I just don't know. Okay. No, 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 no. I got hit that time. Okay. That time I didn't get massive amounts of debuffs though. So, I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. If I'm able to do this, it is purely by chance, my friends. It truly is. Not by any skill, but purely from chance. Ladies and gentlemen, that should be it. Torch God's favor, yes. Wait, hang on a minute. Hey, 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 hey. Still trying to get a little bit antsy, huh? Stupid torches. I've never, ever, 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 ever had that much trouble trying to take down the torch god. I can only assume that it is supposed to be like a warm-up exercise in bullet dodging. Because it's like an omen for how the rest of the mod is going to go. Now, here's the thing, of course. In my previous series, I did indeed get up to sort of uh, hard mode. And we were able to take out all of the mech bosses as well. Have the AIs been completely overhauled for death mode? Early hard mode with the mech bosses? I just don't know. I really honestly, genuinely don't know. But yeah, that was... Unbelievably difficult. I've never had that much trouble. I, I honestly have never had that much trouble. Like, seriously, I'm not even celebrating because that honestly was just an enormous pain in the butt. It truly was. Torch God's favor. Consumable. Bada bing, bada boom. We now have biome torch swap. Cool. Brilliant. I must admit, I was feeling good when this episode started. And that has very, very much uh, just... My confidence is gone, man. I'm not even kidding. All right, well, that's that done. The giant clam is next, and that does mean trying to find ourselves the sunken sea. Now, the good news is we are literally above the underground desert vibe, so I imagine if we follow it down enough, there we have it. We'll wind up at the sunken sea. But here's the thing. If we're going to go for the sunken sea, it might be an idea to get ourselves Victide armor. Is it Victide armor we need for that thing? I think it is. Victide amore. Oh, they have respited the Victide armor. Hey! pretty cool, isn't it? So, I'm assuming that maybe if we get ourselves full Victide armor, maybe we'll be able to get ourselves infinite breath underwater, because if so, yeah, that'd be great. We definitely need it. Sea remains? What the hell? So you don't get Victide bars anymore? Interesting! Oh, man, there's so many update stuffs I need to catch up on, eh? 
probably worth noting, if you haven't seen it already, we managed to get ourselves a bone sword from a cosmic elemental. And it comes with 27 true melee damage, 9% crit chance. But the interesting thing is this, it ignores 50% of enemy defense. So say, for example, if an enemy has 10 defense, this will make it so that the enemy only has 5 defense and therefore we do more damage to it. Huh. So actually, the more defense an enemy has, the more defense ignoring this weapon does. But, I mean, I just can't. I can't ignore the crit chance of this thing here. And it's for that reason that I'm going to stick with the katana, okay? Oh, okay. Interestingly, the mod that allows me to skip time way faster by sleeping in a bed doesn't seem to be functioning anymore. Okay, uh, let's check out the mod config. It would have been sleeping past his time. According to that, it's still perfectly good. Huh. Maybe place down the bed again? No, just flat out doesn't seem to be working. So there we have it, my friends. Sea remains requires pearl shards, coral, starfish, and seashells. We can make four of them at the moment, and that is going to be enough to make ourselves... Oh, not a great deal of stuff. All right, we're going to need to take down the Desert Scourge a few more times. Eh? All right, well, uh, I guess we're going to make it a little bit of a story. Victi Greaves. Sure, we'll go for the trousers. And now we need to grab out uh, the stuffs here. Uh, wait, this stuff here. Yes, that. Uh, and then get on with doing stuff. Yes, very descriptive there, Python. Hey, guys, remember when we went ahead and mined up all that crimtain previously? Well, why don't we go ahead and make a bunch of bars and convert it all into a bow? Tendon bow. Yeah, probably a good idea. Sure. Also, I'm just now realizing we could probably go ahead and do a little thing here. Maybe give it a quick uh, reforge. I mean, we're not going to be able to reforge it many times, but uh, minus speed. I don't want minus speed. I mean, even just hurtful. Sure, that'll probably do, my friends. All right, Desert Scourge time, and I hope that we're not going to have as many problems with the Desert Scourge as we just had with the Torch Guard. I mean, we've probably literally doubled our death count in one episode. So, yeah, little bit of a burger, little bit of archery here, and bada bing, bada boom. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, good news, guys. It turns out... The, the small worms now do show up on the uh, mini-map once again. Fantastic. I wanted that, and it's now in the game. Good. I, I don't know if it was like a bug before that it wasn't there, but um, there we are. Hey, there we go. Just the scourge itself, my uh, friends. Okay. Nice and easy so far. Ah, oh, darn it. There goes the adrenaline. All right. Well, the good news is we've still got a little bit of this going on. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Bit of the old rage buff. Love to see it. There we are. All right, that's one out of the game. And there we have it. 36. 36 pearl shards. Wow. Okay, so you get way more sea-related stuffs now. Oh, that's great. 16. Sea remains. Okay, now. Now things are getting cool. Right, uh, turban. Wait, which one's the... Oh, there we are. The chest plate coming in at five defense. All right, very, very cool. So that's now two out of three. And now all we need to do is figure out what class we're going to go for with this thing. So we've got minion damage, rogue damage, range damage, melee damage, magic damage. Yeah, I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue with ranged. I like the ranged armor. So let's go and put this on. And would you look at that set bonus? Um, a lot. That there's a lot going on. If we had a guild's potion about, we'd be able to explore the sunken seas with absolute ease and get ourselves back on track with our objectives for today. But uh, yeah, according to the where's my items thing, guilds. Oh wait, no, I do have some. Oh, okay. Uh, right, so let's just pop on down here and there they are. Yeah! Oh, cool. Turns out we've got ourselves a rogue weapon here, guys. The Scourge of the Desert. Oh, brilliant. Actually, pretty tempting to go ahead and put that on. Interestingly, it turns out that we actually don't take that much of a hit to our defense by putting on the Victide armor. It only decreases by about seven. I mean, it's still a reasonable jump downwards, but still, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all, if you ask me. Hey, what are you doing there, son? Get out of here. Right, sunken seas time. If we were to uh, simply follow this down... I mean, I imagine if we literally just dog straight down, we'd get there, basically. So, uh, 
Maybe that's exactly what we're going to wind up doing. Holy God! That was interesting. <laughs> Well, Digging Down has interestingly provided an underground house in terms of a result, so that's kind of cool. Uh, what do we have in here, though? That is the question. Dune Rider boots and an encumbering stone. Yeah, I've never actually seen the point of this thing. I've never actually used it. I'm just going to chuck it immediately. I don't want to stop myself from going ahead and being able to pick up stuff. I mean, that's just stupid. I mean, maybe if you're trying to do some, like, certain inventory management type stuff... Maybe that's a good idea, but for the most part, eh, I don't think it matters too much. Aha! Hello, hello, hello! This looks like a sunken seas biome coming up to me, my friends. Very, very nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to say hello to the sunken seas. Looks like the giant clam has already graced us with his presence, and he's like way down here. Ah, oh, man, well, this doesn't look overly good. This is not a very good arena area, if you ask me. Right. No idea how we're going to achieve this. Oh, gee whiz. Nope. Yeah, at least the mini shark actually does a decent amount of damage to this guy. Yeah, get wrecked, son. Get out of here, stupid eel. Boom, boom. Come on. I can do this. Come on. There we are. All right, I'm basically not taking damage. Interesting. Wow. So difficult. Invincible. Come on, buds. Come on, 3,100. Right, you're going to do your little thing again. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. You keep on going with that stuff, bud. Yeah. All right. What are you going to do next, huh? What are you going to do next? You're going to teleport over to me and try and kick my butt? Ah! Oh, he did. Okay, I, I thought it was going to land on that top bit, but no, he did not. I mean, to be honest, the giant clam actually seems like a bit of a cakewalk. Certainly a cakewalk in comparison to the uh, massive annoyance that was the torch god. Yeah, I mean the musket seems to be uh, seems to be doing the job real nice. You just gotta be careful of wherever this guy winds up teleporting, and make sure he doesn't absolutely squish the living poop out of you, right? Yeah, 1100 health. I mean, to be honest, this is just a cakewalk. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just keep on cycling this attack pattern until he's dead. It won't be long at this point, my friendos. Come on, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> love to see it. Come on, fellas. 300 health, eh? Is that all you got? Is that all you got? 200 health. 100 health. And we're going to do one more one more cycle of attack. No? I think that's him dead. Ah, that was easy. Didn't even break a sweat. Didn't even break a sweat. So, yeah, that's quite a stark contrast compared to the massive annoyance, like I was saying, that is the Torch God. Yeah. So there he is, my friends. Emidius, what have you got for me, buddy? The Shell Shooter, the Snap Clam, Sand Dollar Way Washer, Coral Cannon, Urchin Flail. Urchin Flail. That sounds pretty interesting. The Magical Conch. Ow. Oh, I'm just now realizing I'm, like, drowning. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> uh, magical Conch. Sure, I'll get it. Gills Potion. Yeah, probably a good idea, no? Yeah. Coral Cannon? I can't remember which of all of this lot is actually kind of decent. I kind of want a flail. Uh, what else have we got? Coral cannon or shell shooter? I remember the coral cannon being pretty slow, but the shell shooter being incredibly slow. Yeah, look at that. Snail speed compared to average speed. Huh. Okay. You know what? Sorry, I'm going to buy both. <laughs> so then, strictly speaking, the giant clam is actually a mini boss. So that is actually not going to go with the collection here. However, I thought it would still be a nice idea to maybe just sort of store all of the mini boss relics sort of just down to the sides here. I mean, we're not going to go for all of the drops with them, but I certainly will go ahead and take their relics and put them down. So there you have it. We have ourselves a giant clam relic. Very good. So let's go and get the comments of the day done to wrap up today's episode. Uh, Python, you should try to make the Magiluminescence to use in tandem with your ancient shadow armor. See how much acceleration you'll have with both on. Ah, I wish I read this at the beginning of the episode. That probably would have came in handy with the Torch God. Yes. Well done, Python. Well done, Python. You uh, rather outdid yourself there, no? Uh, right, Magiluminescence. Let's remind ourselves. Demonite bars and Topaz. Oh, man. We had nearly enough Crimtain bars before. Huh. All right, well, the good news is, since we've got a bone pickaxe, all we need to do is sort of just find the Crimtain, and then we'll be all right. Huh. 
All right, so maybe at the beginning of the next episode, we'll go ahead and get that done. But for now, my friends, it is time to wrap up the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and of course, you're excited to see more, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.